Hey, it's Jake Gagne. Thanks for watching Moto America on YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment. And get closer to that 140 flat mark. When the red lights go off, we're going race in race two. SportbikeTrackGear.com Junior Cup is on the way. At turn one awaits. Who got a launch? It looks like your pole sitter, the 71 of Levy Batty, with a great launch. But no, up the inside is that the 48 of Max Van, who gets the jump, gets the whole shot. Yeah, Max Van. Levy Batty got a great launch. And remember him yesterday, Greg, on a second lap. He tipped off in turn five. And, you know, the reason I bring that up is you do these first races. The, the advantage of having two races on a weekend, you get all that data. So you can try to come back and improve the second day. And when you don't have that, it makes it a little harder. Now, as far as the speed of these bikes, you know, these guys are able to get to a performance level probably a lot earlier than most of the other bikes in the paddock because they're just smaller, they're a little lighter, a little bit um, less horsepower. Entry out of New Jersey was in third spot, but it looks like Cody Wyman on that Alpha Omega Ninja 400 will take the spot over for our first and second place. And look at Kayla Yakov, the Again, 31 there she on goes. the Altus Motorsports Ninja, doing a good job, just absolutely loving heartbreaking into turn 10A, you know, and, and try to break away from this field when you know this back straightaway is going to just gather everyone back up again and another pass for the lead. And it looks like Levy Batty trying to make a bid, but we heard one of the bikes on the rev limiters. Here they go five wide into 10A. Yakov trying to make an inside bid, and it's Yakov who takes the lead. So all of a sudden from third to first goes the 31. How comfortable is she down there? And it's almost like you guys can try to go in here with me, but you're not going to be able to. And you can see uh, Le Levy uh, Batty right there really got close to overbreaking going into turn 12, but he makes a nice job of getting out of there. Now he's going to try to go up the inside here of the 31 as they go down. Max Van's on the outside. So Ooh, wow. Batty almost, almost lost the front there. lost the front yep. again. He said he just made a mistake. He, he was too aggressive on the Dunlop. So and needed to really wait for those tires to come in. As for this morning, the bike was fine. His quick shifter wasn't working up, but it should be good for the race. And he said today he just really wants to be patient on the first laps until those tires come in and get out front. And so far, he's done exactly what he said he was going to. He has, and Batty is learning how hard you can push these Dunlops in certain situations as Yakov into 10A again retakes the lead, JP. Yeah, it goes right by, does a nice job. Now, whoever's bike is hitting, there's a couple of them hitting the limiter, as you can hear. That's going to be a problem later in the race, as you see. Oh, he, Batty up the inside. Yeah, Batty goes up the inside. That, that was a kind of a move I think he tested a lot before. He knew he could get in there a little bit deeper than Caleb. But see what it does to his exit speed, Greg. He doesn't get out of the corner as well. And that's going to allow Caleb to go back down the outside of him. And up underneath is Max Van. And then you got Lamandry now having a look up underneath Batty. On the back straightaway. And Yakov tight in the tuck as much as possible. This would be something if no one could draft her and she could lead all the way to 10 8. Not oh, possible. There's too yeah. many bikes around. Look too much this. air to push around. Oh. Five, six wide as we go down into 10 A. Yakov gets gobbled up by a whole heap of riders, but it's going to be Batty, the 71 on the Bart Karn Racing. Kayla goes back to sixth. So it just goes to show you what that draft does and track position does as she goes back up underneath. It looked like Max Van, she was going up underneath. She does. You can see now, he, Max Van goes to the front. Cody, look at Kayla. She's running it down the inside of all of them. What a move. I mean, that is her spot. When I spoke with the 31 this morning, I said, what position would you like to be in on the last lap? And she said, fourth place. She thinks she has the perfect draft, draft from fourth, and she's got the ability to outbreak out of that draft and lead onto the front straightaway. So at the moment, with as we come across the stripe four to go it just seems like it's difficult for him to do anything very easy for others to kind of draft him or draft past him but here you go cody wyman leading down the back stretch doesn't have anybody coming by him right now that's going to be a big boost of confidence they might fan out and get him before turn 10 but let's see is kayla going to go down the inside of all of them again she is great she's going to have a go max van's going to chop her nose off there good clean riding good good clean racing and these guys, when they come by, they are going to see the white flag this time passed. So, Look at Kayla, she got such a great drive back up the hill. Outstanding run for Yakov, but is this the position that she wants to be in? The white flag flies, we have one lap to go. 
It was Jakob Lemandri and Gus Rodeo who ended up coming across the stripe in third. So all of a sudden, the 96 is making some big moves. Look at him. He's trying to go around the outside right now. Even Kayla as they head up the hill. Does Gus Rodeo make it through? He doesn't quite get there, but he's got himself in the third. And you can see how tight it gets up there. So it's going to be difficult because she is going to be able to draft Gus Rodeo, no worries. And that's going to pull her along and probably up alongside. Yeah, but the person who's in the best spot is Cody Wyman. He is. He was in fourth. Oh. Now he's in third. He's going by Yakov. But watch this. She's going to be on the left side going down the hill. These guys are going to get blocked out, and she's going to go to the left and try to outbreak everybody. Oh, but they're here pulling we go. her around. And so Max Van still has the lead. Here they go. Is Yakov going to go from fourth to first? She does. She pushes the issue. She gets the line. She's a little bit wide, but she's leading. But the drive is Cody Wyman's. But here comes Gus Rodeo up the outside. Here they come down the hill. It's going to be a breaking duel into the final corner. Yakov deep on the brakes. Here she comes to the final corner. Can she hold on to it? Oh, and one rider goes down. Batty collects it. Here we go. Oh, and all those guys went down behind her. Lamandry, I think, is in that. Bickneys, Batty are the three that we saw go down. But how about this? Here's the NJ. Call it for I'm us. I'm trying to see what happened. Oh, Batty got a little out of shape there. He runs into the back of Max Van. Lamandry nowhere to go. And, of course, Bickneys then literally has nowhere to go. He ends up crashing, makes a mess down there in the last corner. I'm trying to see if anybody was able to get back up and get their bikes across the line. But man, I, it's a shame that it had to end that way for sure for these three in the back. All right, so while you were in commercial break, this was the finish. And Kayla Yakov came across the line in first place. Big win, career win, 14 years old, all the stuff that surrounds it. However, what actually happened on the final lap into turn 10, you can see the middle top part of your screen, that's a yellow flag. There is no passing allowed. In Moto America competition, when a yellow flag waves. That means that the 31, Yakov, 96, Rodeo, 34, Wyman, and 39, or 71, sorry, so the 71, all penalized for passing under a waving flag, penalized two positions. Let's take a look at the results as we know them. The race win is going to go to Max Van. So Max Van is credited with his win. Aiden Tao, because... He was in that group of eight, but ran off. He was eight seconds back since the other four riders got relegated two positions from a penalty. He goes to third and Yaakov to, or second and not Yaakov goes third.